Today, in our series on F1 power units, we're going to talk about the MGUK, the Motor Generator Unit Kinetic. The MGUK, similar to how we described the MGUH in the last episode, is a motor generator unit. So if you supply it with electrical energy, it'll spin. If you spin it, it will create electrical energy. It's the MGUK because it uses kinetic energy. In this case, it's using the energy from the braking, which would otherwise be wasted, to create electrical energy, which we can then later push back into it so that it can power the crank and give you more power. Drivers are allowed three MGUKs throughout the season, and like other elements, if you use more than that, you have to take a grid penalty. The MGUK is found on the side of the combustion engine, the left-hand side tucked away underneath the exhaust pipes. The MGUK interacts with many other elements of the power unit. It's linked mechanically to the front of the crankshaft, part of the combustion engine, and can either create power when the crankshaft is rotating or can put power back into the crankshaft. So it's completely linked mechanically to the combustion engine. It's electrically linked to the rest of the air system. So electrically linked to the control electronics, the battery and the MGUH. The MGUK is regulated as 120 kilowatts when it's both a motor and a generator. You're able to harvest two megajoules of energy from the MGUK during your braking, and you're allowed to deploy four megajoules of energy when you want it to add to the power of the combustion engine so you can get down that straight as quickly as you can. The minimum weight of the MGUK is seven kilograms, and by regulation, the fastest it can spin is 50,000 revs per minute. Similar to how we cool the MGUH, we also use Petronas Sintium to cool the MGUK. Although it's a very efficient motor, there is a small amount of waste heat and we must keep that temperature under control. The Kerr system, which we ran on the old V8s before we ran these new V6 hybrids, also had what you could class as an MGUK on it. In those days, it was only 60 kilowatts, so half the power, but it wasn't actually that much difference in size. So that's where we've really progressed in the power density of the motor. The other difference to the Kerr system which we used back in the day was that it was only active for about six seconds. And we are using the MGUK on our hybrid probably five times as much as that. Sometimes the energy stored and deployed by the MGUK is going from the battery store. On other occasions, it could be coming or going to the MGUH directly, depending exactly on what the driver's requesting and what the engine's able to provide from torque. When the energy is going directly from the MGUH to the MGUK, not going through the battery, that's when we are in our most thermally efficient mode. This type of MGU which is part of the system for driving the wheels of the car, is essentially exactly the same sort of MGU that is in a road car. So developing this sort of technology is completely transferable to Mercedes EQ cars in the future. That's giving you some insight into the MGUK. In our next episode, we're going to be talking about control electronics.